Six months. Ever wondered what the High Speed Rail Authority can accomplish in six months? Look no further than the Tuolumne Street Bridge in downtown Fresno. This is how it looked in January. This is how it looks now. The old bridge demolished, a new higher bridge taking shape in six months. And that's only a small piece of what the authority accomplished in the last half year. In February, the authority issued the 2016 draft business plan that literally changed the direction of the program and of high-speed rail construction. Being able to show that we can get a high-speed rail system up and running uh, for at least half the state well, with available dollars to do it within nine years and to do something very important in terms of connecting two regions of our state. That was what drove our decision to turn to the north and put an emphasis on connecting valley to valley service. After 60 days of public comment, including two board meetings on the road in Anaheim and San Jose, the business plan was adopted, making the valley to valley line the future of high-speed rail. This is not a choice of whether to go to San Francisco or go to Los Angeles. The system needs to go to both to make any sense at all. But it's a, a choice about what to do next. And if the next choice of coming to the Bay Area can help raise the capital that we need to build the rest of the system, then here's the place to come next. High-speed rail will connect the north and the south, but also provide integral connection to the central, central part of our state. Six months of change and a major victory for the authority as a judge rejected claims by opponents in Kings County that plans for high-speed rail violated state law. The Judge Kenny uh, denied the petition of the plaintiffs, uh, ruled in favor of the uh, authority on key issues. What we are building is exactly what the public voted for. We have never wavered from fidelity to the Bond Act. In January, the board approved an extension to the north end of Construction Package 1, from Avenue 17 in Madera to Avenue 19. The authority also agreed to add a stop in Madera, so high-speed rail passengers can connect to Amtrak there. Six months of study, investigations, and outreach, including dozens of community open house meetings in Southern California, discussing new alignment options from Palmdale to Burbank, which are now being studied. Geotechnical investigations are underway in the Angeles National Forest, core samples being studied to look into the feasibility of tunneling, and more meetings to talk about Burbank to Los Angeles to Anaheim, reminding people in the South that high-speed rail is still moving forward. And in between those meetings, the SoCal team found time to do its part to keep the earth clean, taking part in various Earth Day events. Six months can change everything. Just ask the team in Northern California. On the heels of the business plan being adopted, environmental scoping got underway for the San Francisco to San Jose section. Several open house meetings have been held to make the public aware of the environmental review process, while planning and environmental work advances in the San Jose to Merced project section. Six months of construction. Six months ago, the authority was just getting underway with its second project site. Now there are seven active sites, with more coming online throughout the summer. Music to the ears of workers and unions. We're big supporters of high-speed rail. Uh, we think that it's important not just because it's going to create jobs for our members and thousands of others, about 20,000 jobs a year, 450,000 when it's done. The first project site, the Fresno River Viaduct is now home to the first freestanding structure on the high-speed rail line. And by late summer, construction work will be underway in Construction Package 2-3, the approximately 60-mile stretch from Fresno to the Tulare Kern County line. A new design builder is in the mix. In January, California Rail Builders was awarded the contract for Construction Package 4, the 22 miles from north of the Tulare Kern County line to Poplar Avenue north of Bakersfield. 
The past six months have changed the landscape of the high-speed rail program. Now imagine what it will look like six months from now. This next six months is part of that critical time period where we've really moved from the planning to the building of high-speed rail and convincing people that this is happening and it's going to continue to happen until we get the first trains up. So when you're asked, is high-speed rail really happening? You can answer. It's happening.